So yesterday we discussed about try and exit with a big program. I will just explain that uh, use of the try and exit with the, the help of a small program. Okay. First, I will explain what is the use of this try and exit. Okay, not exit, except. Okay, try and accept is used for error handling. Try and accept statement together can handle runtime errors. What is runtime error? The error that happened at the time of program run. Okay. One simple example for normal program based runtime error is division by zero. If we try to divide a number by zero at the time of runtime, it will make some error because division by zero is not possible. It is not defined. Okay. So try and accept statement together can handle runtime errors. To handle some runtime error, we are using this try and accept statement. These two are used together. In the try block, that is between try and accept keyword, write the code that can generate an exemption or exemption or error. Write the code that can generate an error. So between try and accept keyword, write the code that has a chance to make mistake or that has a chance to generate an error. So write the code between this try and accept, write the code that can generate an error. And in the accept block, that is below accept keyword, what to do when the error has occurred. So under accept keyword, we want to write the statement based on what to do when that particular error happened. In our case, the error is end of file. That is, after reading line by line, when we reach the end of that page or end of that uh, book, what we want to do? That is, end of file. That error is known as EOF error. End of file error there are different types of except error the first one it is end of error end of file error this is for checking uh, this is for uh, uh, when we find the end of file the error used along with this except it is eof error then for all the errors commonly used Error it is exception. Exception error. Okay. So many errors are there. We need only this two one. Okay. So there are try, uh, try and accept statement together can handle runtime error. That is for handling runtime error. All of you switch on the video. For handling runtime error, we are using this try and exit. So for try block, that is between try and exit, we write the codes that can generate an error. If there is a possibility to generate error, then that particular set of statements are written within this try and exit. Okay, under this except keyword, what is the statements needed for under this except keyword? What to do when a particular error has occurred? When a particular error has occurred, what you want to do? That is under except keyword. In our Python file handling statements, our error is finding end of the file. That is, if I am, this is the uh, text file content, I am started reading from this, uh, the first, first word try. Then I continue reading, try and accept first line is read and second line is read third line, fourth line. After fourth line, it is end of file. So when we reach this end of file, what we want to do? That is under accept keyword. Is it clear, children? This try and accept. 
Is it clear? No. Ma'am, can I explain one more time? Okay, I will explain with one example. Here, this is a program. Here, this reading data means in a file. This is my file. In this, I am using A, B, C, D, E, F. Two lines I am using. Or I my content of file file content it is two lines that A, B, C, and D, E, F. At the time of reading a data from the file, first I will read based on a character by character. Then first it will read A, then B, then C, then E, D, then E, then F. After F, there is no characters. That is, after F, this is the end. That is the end of that file. So, if we continue reading, at the time after reading F. There are some error based on this end of file. To handle that error, we are using this except end of file error. Okay, yes, Sachud. Ma'am, I can hear you well, but uh, like there is some kind of a disturbance in the screen. Okay. No. Now it's okay. Achud, is it clear? Uh, now it's better. Now. Yes. It's only better. Yeah, now it's okay. Now. Okay, 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 okay. So our problem is uh, our problem is only based on reading. Okay, is it clear, Diya? The my sound is clear. Am I audible? Clearly. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. Um, like, the, keep the mic a bit far from the. Okay, okay. I think uh, yesterday also some problem in with my mic. Yeah, ma'am. Like when you take the breath in and out, like the. Sound. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, so, uh, in the case of reading, that is only for reading. Uh, uh, it is this try and accept is only for reading. That is when we read the content from a file. At the end of file, there is nothing to read. Okay. So, if you want to, uh, if at the time of reading, after reading F, there is nothing to read. So, it will again execute the read statement. So, uh, before reading, you want to check if uh, that end of file occurred or not. For that purpose, we are using this except end of file error. That is, at the time of within this try, I will read the statement. That is, pickle dot load is used to read the first line, the second line, all these lines in this file. Then, after reading the second line, it will check if the end of that file encounter or not. So, this is the end of the file. Then, what we'll do when we reach that end of file? That is f one dot close. That is try and accept. Okay. That is if we want to, uh, if there is an error, runtime error based on this code, we will write that code within this try. And when that particular error happened, that is here, if there is an end of file encountered, then the control moves to this accept end of file error. Then it will execute the statement f1 dot close. Okay, it is only for reading the data. At the time of reading, when the end encountered, then we can move that execution to accept end of file error. Otherwise, runtime error will happen. If you are not using this try and accept after reading f, runtime error will happen. Okay. If you are not using this try and accept along with this read statement, that is load is for reading. So if you are not using this try and accept along with this load statement, at the time of running the program, after completing the reading, runtime error will appear. 
to avoid that runtime error we are using this try and accept end of file error now it is clear gauri no yes ah, yes okay so i will explain this program that is import pickle pickle for pickling and unpickling we are using this import pickle then emp first i am creating one empty dictionary for uh, storing the data that is reading from the file so first thing that is our data from the keyboard that is in human readable form i just convert that data into binary form and that binary data first abc is converted to binary and that binary data is stored here using write statement which is the write statement achut which is the write statement which one the Not clear, Achut. Aditya. And load. Load is for reading, isn't it? One more is there. I'm going to. Just check, Aditya. Which function is used for <coughs> reading? Gauri. Dump. Uh, ah, dump. Dump is the function. used to write the data so after inputting the uh, characters a b c i want to convert that character into binary and that binary data are stored in binary file using dump function then we can't understand this binary language it is a garbled value representation so we can't read that data so for re before reading we want to convert that binary data into human readable form okay that is known as unpickling for that reading we are using this load function so after converting this binary data into human readable form that human readable data uh, data is stored into one dictionary for that purpose we are using this emp is equal to dictionary empty dictionary first you want to use before writing we want to convert that uh, characters into binary using pickling method and we just uh, store that data using dump or write that data using dump into binary file and before reading we want to convert that binary data into human readable form and that human readable data is uh, stored into one dictionary for that purpose i am using this empty dictionary after reading i want to store the data in a dictionary for that i am using emp is equal to one empty dictionary okay then after that i will just open one file that is to dot that with rb mode because here i am only doing reading so it is rb mode then i am using try while true that is it will become false when the end of file is reached okay the starting value it is true it will become false when the end of file is reached end of file means after reading the last character that is end of file last character in the file that is end of file so while true emp is equal to pickle dot load f1 load is the read statement so it will first read the contents from f1 f1 means this file okay from the file we uh, already write some uh, written uh, some data in that binary file so this load function access that receive that data from that binary file and convert into human readable form and store that data into emp emp is one of the dictionary okay so pickle dot load f1 f1 means the file stood dot that within this stood dot that we are storing some binary data 
already write something in that binary data the data are read uh, using this load function and load function automatically convert that binary data into human readable form and store that human readable form that is abc into this dictionary after that i will just print emp so the content abc is printed okay then after reading this abc there is nothing that is end of file okay so the control will again moves to this try after print emp it will just move on to this while statement while true it automatically convert into false because it is and it is the end after reading abc there is nothing in that file only one line is stored in that file it is abc so after reading abc i already read that abc and stored it into emp and just print that content abc on the screen so that is after reading abc it is end of file so this true will automatically convert it to false so while false so it will again move to this exemption except end of file error that is after abc it is end of file when the end of file or eof encounter it will just close the file because there is nothing to read or we can give any message like this print it is the end after that we can close the file okay now it is clear is it clear yes or no yes gauri what is eof error eof error means end of file that is every file end what is the end after the last character it is end of file okay that is just like a uh, like a page this uh, you just consider this as a uh, page then after reading this one it is the end of this page no just like that within a file after reading the last character that is end of that file when we encounter end of file the error is known as eof error okay Ma'am, oh. except is the keyword, right? Ah, except is the keyword. Along with except, we are using some errors. This is also just like a keyword that that is it is built-in error. E O F error is a built-in error. It is not a user-defined error. It is a built-in error. So you just write E O F E as capital letter, and after that R R O R a small letter. Ma'am, in the previous class we wrote ah exception. exception ah exception. That is also one of the error exception. It is used for all the type of runtime errors. It is not not only uh, used for a particular error. Exception error is for all the runtime errors. We can use this exception here also. Okay, we can give a particular error here, or we can give exception here. Exception is for all the runtime errors. So the commonly used error it is exception, but we here we know that it is the error name it is end of file error. That's why we are using along with file we are using end of file error. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Any doubt related with this? Try except and exception end of file error. okay so <clears throat> after reading the data is roll number 1 name rahul roll number 2 name rega that is i already writes these two rows in uh, stud dot dat file so uh, it will just read the first row and second row and display like this okay 
The next it is searching in a file. If I want to search a particular data in a file, what we want to do? That is, in this case, here two rows are there. Roll number one is there, roll number two is there. I want to check if roll number 14 is present here or not. That is searching. 14 is not here. Or I want to check if roll number one is present in that file. For that, I am using searching in binary file. Okay. Searching means find out one row based on one value. Either we can use roll number or we can use name. Okay. That is searching. So, after searching, I want to st uh, store the data in a particular dictionary. That's why I'm using one empty dictionary. Here, import pickle. After that, I'm using a empty dictionary. That is, for after searching, I want to store the data in a dictionary. For that purpose, I am initializing a dictionary st, which is equal to empty. Then, just to open the file using stu.dat. Then search key. I'm using 1 and 14 for searching. I'm using a list with content 1 and 14. Then within try, I will just start with while true. Stu.dat pickle.lordfin that is our content is roll number one name Rahul then roll number two this is the second data this data Name Dega. This is the content of the binary file. I want to search uh, roll number one is present or roll number 14 is present. For that purpose, I'm using a list and assign that list content into list name search key. Then stu pickle dot lord fin. So Lord is used to read the content from FN, so it will read the content from this FN, that is roll number one named Rahul and roll number two named Ega. These are the contents in FN, so Lord is used to read these contents. After reading, if stu.roll number in search key, search key contents are 1914. If stu.roll number, stu.roll number means first one it is one, second one it is two. So stu.roll number first value is one. One is present in this one comma fourteen. Either in one or fourteen. The first it will check if it is present in one. If it is equal to one. Here the roll number one is equal to the value one. So print stu that is the content of this roll number is printed print stu means one yahoo that is roll number one and name yahoo is printed then found equal to true found equal to true means here i am setting found equal to false found equal to true means after finding a particular roll number there is no need of continuing the searching okay I will just uh, find the roll number one here within this uh, binary file. So there is no need of continuing the searching. We, if something is there with roll number three is there, four, five, six, ten roll numbers are there. Then after finding the particular search result, there is no, no need of continue reading. Isn't it? After finding the result, there is no need of continuing. So we just, for stopping the reading, we are using this found equal to true. We are just assigning true as found. Okay, so I will just find that 
that particular roll number one is present here. So I will just print the uh, roll number one with its details. After that, I set found equal to true. Then it will again check if it is true. Here it is the end of file. So after end, it will just go to this except end of file error. In this except end of file, that is at the time of end of file occurred, then the control moves to except end of file error. And if found equal to false, found equal to false means what? Achu, the manual, all of you switch on the video. Okay. Found equal to false means no such records found. Okay, that is, if I am giving a value 10 and 14, then there is no such roll number. So, it will never move, execute this print and found equal to true statement. So, the value of found is always false. So, if found equal to false means print no such records found. Otherwise, print search successful. Then, close the file. So, after finding the end of file, you just check if the value of found is false or not. If it is false, just give a message like no such records found. In our case, already one file is there, roll number with roll number one. So, here the condition is else, that is print search successful. And after that, just close the file. That is searching. Okay, for searching, first you want to declare one empty dictionary, then a variable found, which is equal to false. Initial value of found is false. When we encounter or when we found one uh, roll number in your uh, file, then the value of found becomes true. Otherwise, the value of found is always false. Then after opening the file, give a list for searching and start, start reading. Then for reading, the statement is 2 is equal to pickle.loadfn. So the data from this fn is readed and it will check using this if statement, it will check if that particular roll number is present or not. If it is present, it will print it and assign true value to found. <coughs> then at the time of ending, it will execute accept EOF error statement. If found equal to false, print no such records found, else print search successful. After that, close the file. This is searching in a file. Completed. Srihari Krishna Alvin, is it clear? Is it clear, Srihari? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am. Okay, Gauri. So the output will be roll number one named uh, ah. search successful. Ah. First line is displayed, after that, search successful. That is the output. This print statement is display one Rahul and after that search successful. Completed? Mm -hmm. Okay.
Use that function black bracket also. Just write a program. Write the question. Write a program to read file. To read file. <coughs> stu dot dat. Stu dot dat. Created in earlier program. Created. in earlier programs and display and display records having display records having marks greater than 81 marks greater than 81 just think the con yes achut tell the starting of the question again read the file stu dot dat okay ma'am this the rule and created in earlier programs and display records having marks greater than 81 here the you just imagine the contents are marks uh, 85 then roll number 2 another name abc mark it is 80 just like that one more column value is the mark <coughs> instead of this there is only one difference that is instead of this after load instead of this stu dot just write if stu of marks greater than 81 then all the things are same okay instead of this stu roll number in search key we want there is no need of assigning this value here you just use if stu dot stu marks greater than 81 then print that particular student details then place found equal to true all the so search other. key is not required which one achut the search key equal to that thing is ah key. no search key is not required we want to give uh, only one value no yeah that's why we are not using any variables or list okay this is not needed instead of this statement you just write this one uh, so we have to change the print statement also right ah here 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 you just uh, print no such records There is no problem no such record with this mark this condition according to this condition no such records no ma'am like search successful search successful is also we can write just like hmm 
which message we can give result displayed we can give result displayed or we can just avoid this one then we can uh, now you just give result displayed instead of search successful just give result displayed or marks displayed here we can give there is no such mark is it clear achut here you can uh, here you can give message according to your program or your checking okay so the next one it is file pointers file pointers ma'am um, yes achut complete ma'am oh okay okay Ashwin absent, isn't it? Shivani Muhammad. Okay. Completed, Achut. at the time of revision we can do more mcq question based on that uh, searching appending reading just like that okay so the next topic it is file pointer file pointer means just like our mouse pointer you just imagine file pointer is just like a mouse pointer okay so there are mainly two types of file pointers tell and seek two file pointers are there tell and seek the first one it is tell tell file pointer means it is used for telling the current position where is the pointer now for that we are using this tell function it is used to mention the current position of the file pointer then <coughs> the meaning of tell is to say something similarly tell function say or tell us about the current position that is if this is the file a b c d e f is the content when i open a file the file pointer is here that is if i am using a statement f1 is equal to open to dot dat comma rb then when we open the file the file pointer is at the beginning after this file opening if i am using f1 dot tell it will display the current position that is it is in the zeroth position okay after zero if the file pointer is here the position uh, this tell will return 1 as result if the file pointer is under c it will return 3 as the result and not 3 2 as the result so if the file pointer is here it will return the current position so tell is used to return the current position of the file pointer where is the pointer now for that we are using this tell but seek is there seek is for moving the file pointer from one position to another position 
seek is used to now the file pointer is here i want to move this file pointer from this a to e for that purpose we are using this seek function okay tell is used for getting the current position of the fi uh, file pointer seek is used to move the file pointer from one position to another position if the file pointer is here i want to re, uh, move this file pointer from this position to c that is also possible give negative value i will explain that thing so tell is used to return the current position seek is used to move the file pointer from one position to another position so it moves the cursor at required position in the file the syntax it is seek offset within square one square bracket offset then give from this is only in the syntax you just write this example f dot seek 5 comma 0 here f dot tell will return the current position here it is used to f dot seek 5 comma 0 means 0 means beginning here there is three values we can write 0 1 2 along with seek <coughs> along with seek we can give two values two parameters are there with seek value the first value from the second value is the starting position this is the starting position zero represents beginning that is the movement is starting from the beginning to which position fifth position the movement is file pointer is moving from zeroth position to fifth position if i am giving 5 comma 1 1 is for representing current position that means the file pointer is moving from current position to fifth position then one more value 2 2 is the end end of file that is from the end move to this location i'll explain this value in the next class okay you just understand what is tell and seek what is tell tell is for returning the current value seek is for moving from one position to another position okay these zero one two that is second parameters are the modes used along with seek okay three modes are used along with seek that is zero one two zero is for representing beginning one is for representing current two is for representing the end only three modes zero one two zero means beginning one is current two is end okay so we'll continue the class in the next class okay i think uh, tomorrow i don't know saturday okay after two or three class we can wind up this uh, term one portion okay bye children